determine the centroid of the shaded area shown above. Here is a rectangle, a complete rectangle with a length 200 and the breadth 140 and a circle of diameter 60 placed centrally on the rectangle with length side 100 and depth side 70 needs to be subtracted and another rectangle 40 length 60 height at the extreme right top corner need to be subtracted. Another element triangle 30 base height 80 need to be subtracted from the original rectangle. Element 1, we have rectangle of length 200 and height 140. Therefore, the centroid lies at the intersection of the symmetrical length and breadth axis. Therefore, A1 is equal to 200 multiplied by 140 mm square, X1 is equal to 200 by 2 that is 100, Y1 is equal to 140 divided by 2 that is equal to 70. Now we take element 2. Element 2 is a circle which is placed centrally on the rectangular plate with a diameter 60. So, G2 is located at a distance of 100 from Y axis, 100 from Y axis and 70 from X axis. Therefore, A2 is equal to pi multiplied by R square that is 30 square mm square x2 is equal to 100 that is 200 divided by 2. Y2 is equal to 70 that is nothing but 140 divided by 2. Now element 3 element 3 is a rectangle located exactly at the right top corner with the dimension 40 and 60 the centroid of uh, element 3 lies here it is this distance is 80 and uh, this distance is 160 160 therefore a3 is equal to 40 multiplied by 60 mm square x3 is equal to 160 plus this distance 160 plus 40 divided by 2 it is equal to 
160 plus 20 implies x3 is equal to 180 similarly y3 is equal to 80 plus 60 divided by 2 that is equal to 80 plus 30 which implies y3 is equal to 110 mm. We have one more element, element 4. Element 4 is located at the left to most top corner with the base of 30 mm and the height of 80 mm. Therefore, it is very easy to find out the geometry of the element 4 G4 that is nothing but X4 Y4. Now, A4 is equal to half into base into height. X4 is equal to total is 30 x4 is equal to 1 third of 30 it is equal to 10 mm y4 is equal to from here from the bottom it is 60 total height is 80 it is located at a distance of 2 third of 80, 2 third of 80. Therefore, Y4 is equal to 60 plus 2 third of 80. It's nothing but Y4 is equal to, Y4 is equal to 2 by 3 multiplied by 80 equal to 53.333 answer plus 60 is equal to 113.33 mm. We know that x bar is equal to a1 x1 minus a2 x2 why it is minus because this circle needs to be subtracted minus a3 x3 once again this rectangle need to be subtracted in order to get the shaded area minus this small triangle once again to be subtracted divided by a1 minus a2 minus a3 minus a4 similarly y bar is equal to a1 y1 minus a2 y2 minus a3 y3 minus a4 y4 divided by a1 minus a2 minus a3 minus a4 implies x bar is equal to a1 that is 200 multiplied by 140 140 a1 multiplied by x1 is 100 minus a2 a2 is pi r square pi r square 30 radius pi r square multiplied by x2 it's 100 minus a3 a3 is again 40 multiplied by 60 x3 x3 is 180 minus a4 a4 is equal to 50 
multiplied by 80 is equal to 1200 50 multiplied by 80 a4 multiplied by x4 x4 is equal to 10 divided by 200 multiplied by 140 minus pi r square minus 40 multiplied by 60 minus 15 multiplied by 80 similarly y bar is equal to 200 multiplied by 140 a1 into y1 70 minus pi into 30 square a2 multiplied by y2 70 minus 40 into 60 multiplied by y3 110 minus 15 into 80 multiplied by y4 that is 113.333 3, 3, 3, divided by 200 multiplied by 140 minus pi into 30 square minus 40 into 60 minus 1 5 into 80 x bar is equal to 200 multiplied by 140 multiplied by 100 close the bracket minus open the bracket pi multiplied by 30 square multiplied by 100 close the bracket minus open the bracket 40 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 180 close the bracket minus open the bracket 15 multiplied by 80 multiplied by 10 open the bracket answer divided by close the bracket 200 multiplied by 140 close the bracket minus open the bracket 5 multiplied by 30 square uh, close the bracket minus 40 multiplied by 60 close the bracket minus 15 multiplied by 80 answer is x bar is equal to 96.106 mm similarly y bar is equal to open the bracket 200 multiplied by 140 multiplied by 70 close the bracket minus open the bracket pi multiplied by 30 square multiplied by 70 close the bracket minus open the bracket 40 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 110 close the bracket minus open the bracket 15 multiplied by 80 multiplied by 113.333 close the bracket answer answer divided by 2 open the brackets 200 multiplied by 140 close the bracket minus open the bracket 5 multiplied by 30 square close the bracket minus 40 multiplied by 60 close the bracket minus 15 multiplied by 80 close the bracket close the bracket is equal to 63.139 mm so here is a rectangle of 200 by 140 you subtract a small rectangle of 40 multiplied by 60 another circle of diameter 60 and one more triangle of base 30 and height 80 so summary answer x bar is equal to 96.106 mm 
y bar is equal to 63.139 therefore for the entire shape what we have done like this the x bar lies at a distance of 96 and y bar lies at a distance of 63 this distance is 